and Bernita Glenn White. I go by the Brilliant Life Strategist and Leadership Consultant. I'm a former K-20 educator, meaning that I have K-12 experience, district level experience as far as school districts, and then college level um, experience. And my background is mathematics um, education, but I've also worked um, heavily in STEM fields, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics, mainly on the education side of those things. I also have experience working with people in those professions, so not just from a theory um, space or space, but also a practical space. So I wanted to talk about the FACE Methods course, and the reason why that background was important is because I wanted to share that I do have teaching and education experience, um, but then what I learned from Kelly, what I learned from her with her course, um, being that she's a, a, an instructional you know, design teacher. She's been in this online space well before um, it was forced <laughs> on many people. And I'm pretty good with the technology. I'm, I'm pretty good with teaching methods and things like that. That has been my, my jam. But learning from Kelly a different perspective is something that I wish I would have had before I became a college professor and really doing the online space. And actually, I mean, I didn't need it that much when I was teaching K-12 because, you know, we were in our physical spaces. Um, online teaching was big at the time, but not like it was now for K-12. But for the college level, um, it was definitely needed because I found myself, even before the pandemic, just the way I wanted to set up my classroom, I did. I utilized the flipped model, which means I had a lot of things online and the classroom was built on doing the actual applications instead of me lecturing. Um, but what Kelly showed in her class was some very good strategies. And as a person in a hard science field, like I taught mathematics, I use education um, technology or really using technology to move um, education concepts forward. And helping students embrace all of that, that can be a hard thing to do online. And the courses and the, the methods and the frameworks that Kelly used in her face methods class, I wish I would have had that prior to me going to be a college professor. The training that they give us um, as new faculty member fails <laughs> in comparison to what Kelly offers in her course. The strategies, um, you don't have to research anything. I found myself doing like so much research and trying to find the best ways to, to reach students who they call them digital natives, but just because they like to be on social media doesn't mean that they're digital natives <laughs> or know how to communicate in an online space. And Kelly has, she broke down strategies um, in many different ways and offered even new things. I'm like, man, I would have loved to try to try that. And then during my last semester, I actually did incorporate some of her strategies and it just made my last semester like so much better, so much easier. Um, I probably shouldn't say this, but I was able to finish a whole book <laughs> um, during my time because I put some, you know, some different strategies and structures in place that I learned from her face methods course. So anyone who is struggling teaching online, I would implore you to um, get in contact with Kelly and not just learn this course for yourself, but get your deans or administrators or whomever to, to invest in this course for you as a whole and, and invite Kelly out to really walk you through this process because it will save you a lot of time, energy, and headache if you truly go through some of these strategies. And another way that was important is that I found why it was important was to make sure students actually learn. You know, colleges are getting a bad rap for just pumping out people, you know, for the sake of pumping them out. And people are like, I didn't learn this in college. But utilizing a lot of those strategies from Kelly's course will ensure that students are actually learning what they are supposed to be learning at a deeper level and not just a let me get by type of thing. So I would 1000% recommend this course. I mean, individually, yes, but as a staple for your, your institution, I would definitely push for that um, and then actually see how this can help you semester by semester and year by year. So yeah, I would recommend the Face Methods course as someone who had the to teach a, a what's considered a hard subject online and still has student engaging um, at a high level.